Now we are doing exercise 12.3, question number 13, Roman number 2. Roman number 2, we have radius of base. Radius of base is 0 0.7 meter and slant height and slant height height is equal to 2.5 meter solution so radius of the base is there and slant height is also given so we have slant height so in beginning let us calculate the radius so if this is a cone right if this is a cone this is the radius this is the height and this is slant height slant height is l height is h and this is r <coughs> sorry for that so we need to find out height so let us calculate height h is equal to root over right h will be using pythagoras theorem let me write down using pythagoras theorem using pythagoras theorem pythagoras theorem so height will be equal to root over this one hypotenuse square l square minus r square hypotenuse square minus r square i hope you know this one pythagoras theorem it's quite simple and l is what is l slant height is 2.5 meters so 2.5 whole square minus r is 0 0.7 meter so 0 0.7 whole square so 2.5 whole square it will be 5 to 25 to 4 to 3 to the 6 6.25 minus 7 7 to the 49 it will be 0 0.49 so root over 6.25 minus 0 0.49 it will be 6.25 0 0.49 0 0.49 it will be then minus 4 4 6 and 4 minus 2 2 2 7 and so 5 5.76 now 5.76 and square root of 5.76 is what is the square root of 5.76 so last number is 6 so it will be the 4 or 6 and 5 2 to the 4 so it will be 24 so 24 square is 5.76 so 2.4 okay i can add on 2.4 meter so i got height i got radius and i got slant height so therefore volume is equal to 1 by 3 pi r square h 1 by 3 pi r square h S square h so 1 by 3 into pi is 22 by 7 into r square r square is radius 0 0.7 into 0 0.7 and height it is 2.4 i can cancel 7 and 0 0.1 and 3 and 3 8 uh, 24 so 0 0.8 so let me take next page it will be 22 into 0 0.1 into 0 0.7 into 0 0.8 so this is volume right so 22 into 0 0.1 it will be 2.2 .2, 7 8 7 56 so 22 into 0 0.1 into 87056 0.56 so 22 it will be let me just multiply 2 here from 22 and it will be 11 into 0 0.2 into 0 0.56 and 11 into 0 0.2 into 0 0.56 6 to the 12 5 to the 10 11 and 1 to 3 3 decimals so 0 0.112 so 0 0.112 and 11 into 0 0.112 it will be 2 2 plus 1 3 and 1 plus 1 2 and 1 plus 0 it will be 1 and 1 2.32 i hope this is the answer 1 2.32 this is meter cube or if you want if question answer is given in centimeter it will be 1 2 3 2 centimeter cube all right anyway i hope the answer is correct so just let me write on a meter cube so one one two point three two meter cube that's all now 
next we need to find out curved surface area so curved surface area will be pi r l so pi pi is 22 by 7 into r pi r l so what 22 by 7 pi r r what is r radius is 0 0.7 so 0 0.7 into l slant height is 2.5 so 2.5 7 0 0.1 so 22 into 0 0.1 so 11 into 0 0.2 into 2.5 so 2.5 into 0 0.2 it will be 25 to the so it will be 0 0.2.5 into 2 it will be 2 0 0.5 1 2 so 2.5 wait 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 wait, wait 0 0.2 into 2.5 5 to the 10 to the 4 5 to the 10 to the 4 5 and there are two points after decimal so 1 2 so 0 0.5 yeah i was correct 0 0.5 11 into 0 0.5 it will be 5.5 i hope that's the correct answer 5.5 or i know how it is written in it is meter square now let us find total surface area total surface area is equal to curve surface area so that is pi r l plus pi r square so pi r l we got 5.5 meter square plus pi r square so pi is 22 by 7 into r r which is a radius is 0 0.7 so pi r 0 0.7 into 0 0.7 so 7 1 the 7 so 0 0.1 so 5.5 plus 22 into 0 0.1 or we can say 11 from 22 into 2 will go there it will be 0 0.2 7 to the 14 1 point 7 to the 14 so 0 0.14 and if i multiply 5.5 plus 11.0 so 4 5 1 there are two points this one 1 5 4 5 6 no 4 5 5 10 so 5 6 7 7.04 centimeter meter square so i hope this is the correct answer or that's all means now i hope this is the correct answer that's all and uh, the way i multiply you can change and you do it by yourself okay i'm just making it so that it is comfortable for me to calculate okay that's how i calculate that's all thank you so much we will meet in the next video